this is Andy from iPhonePreak.com and this is a review of the Shark Eye case for the iPhone 4. The Shark Eye is a, a new entry into the tough, rugged iPhone case uh, that should withstand a little bit more bad treatment than a standard iPhone 4 case. So let's take a look at what we have. It's quite big cardboard packaging and the case is hidden inside. It comes in several pieces. First off we have this belt clip on the back which we'll put to one side for now. And then we have the shark eye itself. Let's take it apart so you can see what's inside. Rid of this first. You get two screen protectors one of which is a standard uh, protective film and the other one is an anti-glare protective film which is a nice touch, both of those included in the package. Leaving aside the belt clip for now, we'll come back to that. Um, this is the Shark Eye case which comes in three different pieces. You might be able to see here inside, this is a standard sort of plastic case and then inside is a piece of what they call elastomer. An elastomer is, is like a silicon plastic inside. You can see it's the blue part there. And this acts as a soft absorbent cushion inside the case. You can see it's pretty thick. This must be a good five millimeters at the edge here. And combined with this tough plastic exterior, that's going to absorb some pretty serious shocks should you drop your phone. And the same can also be found, you might not be able to see it too well there, but it is found inside the top section of the shark eye as well. This bit is the shark eye's party piece. And to show it off properly, let's put the iPhone 4 inside. So you take your phone and we'll put it all together. You've got your bottom piece of shark eye case and you slip the iPhone 4 in there. It's a nice tight fit, uh, helped by this blue elastomer. And then you take this screen section and sort of clip it inside. It feels a little bit wobbly there, but it, it sits there okay. And you take the third part and slip it over the top like so. This is a little bit fiddly, it requires a little bit of pushing and tugging to get it in place, but it's, uh, once you've done it a few times it's okay, to be honest, how often are you going to take the case off? So that is the iPhone 4 inside the Shark Eye case. Let's have a look around to see what it covers up. You've got a flap over the 30 pin connector which fits flush inside. The speakers are both uncovered. On the side the mute switch is uncovered but the volume buttons have got their own little cover. On the top the sleep wake key is covered and there's another flap over the um, headphone jack. The front mounted camera is exposed along with the speaker. The home button is covered with its own button. And on the rear, you've got an opening for the camera lens and the flash. This is a little bit wobbly, actually. Uh, it, it, I don't think it's gonna make any difference, but uh, I think maybe that could have been fixed into place. So. On the front, you're bound to have noticed this sort of corrugated um, plastic over the top of the screen. And also on the rear, you probably saw this gap here. Well, this has got a sliding mechanism within it. And when you slide that, you expose the screen of the phone. And then you slide it back into place like that to protect it. Now, Shark Eye have got a video on their site which shows 
a steel ball of uh, some fairly impressive weight falling directly onto this screen protector from a height of nearly 40 inches. That's a pretty serious amount to drop a steel ball that would under normal circumstances crack the screen. But that protector stopped it completely and I think that's fairly impressive. There's also enough plastic and that of course soft polymer uh, and that soft elastomer to protect the phone itself making this I think a very very rugged case. I, th I don't think you're going to have many normal circumstances where this isn't going to protect your iPhone in the event of a fall or a sharp shock. Back to this screen protector for a second. It is fairly easy to operate. You can operate it with one hand to close it. Opening it is a little bit more. You need a, a bit of a grip on it, so it's best to use two hands. But I think that's a really nice idea. And the action is nice and smooth. You can still see enough of the screen through it to see if you have any notifications, but obviously it's unusable like that. The big advantage for me is that I can use the screen as it's intended to be. There's no cover over it like the majority of other um, rugged cases. For example, if we look at the ballistic case, this has its own built-in screen protector, which is permanently over the top of the screen. And although it's fine, it gets a little bit sticky, especially if your hands are a little bit sweaty. It never feels as nice as the standard iPhone 4 screen. I think that's a huge advantage with the Shark Eye. Um, the other big advantage with using this case over other examples of rugged iPhone 4 cases is the way it looks and the way it feels. Going back to the ballistic again, this looks really serious and I'm sure it does offer a tiny bit more protection, especially with this, this tough uh, silicon wrap. The Shark Eye looks and feels like an ordinary iPhone 4 case. Unlike this, which is all super tough and really, you know, like a military grade iPhone 4 case. Some people may love that look. I prefer the more normal looking case, the Shark Eye. There's also weight to consider with the Shark Eye case on the iPhone 4. It's about 196 grams com uh, compared to 230 odd for the iPhone 4 in the ballistic case. It's quite a bit of difference there. I've used this on my phone for at least a week now. Not had any occasion to think, well, you know what, I want a smaller case. This feels normal. And I think that's such a massive selling point for this particular rugged case. Now these are all good things, but there are a couple of drawbacks that I did find. Um, the first is that the screen has got really quite a serious lip around it. You can see here that the screen is quite low. You can see how deep my finger goes before it cuts, before it reaches the screen. Now, I did find that playing some games this was quite uncomfortable and touching corner keys, especially on the keyboard, it was a bit of a pain. This bit's also a little bit sharp and I don't think that's the nicest feel. Um, for extended periods of gaming, I'd probably take the case off. And that's the second disadvantage in that it's a bit of a fiddly thing to put on and off. Other than that, I absolutely love the Shark Eye case, and I never thought I'd say that about any tough, rugged iPhone 4 case. Uh, it's priced at $49.95, uh, it's available only in the US at the moment, but Shark Eye have said they are looking at European um, distributors as well. So with a bit of luck, this will be coming to Europe as well as staying in the US. This is just uh, an aside for the iPhone 4 Shark Eye case, because we never did look at the um, uh, belt clip. And it works just like any other, really. Clipped inside, it's not going anywhere. There's your belt clip. It does rotate to make it easier to fit on your belt the way you want it to. And interestingly, you can have the phone facing out or the phone facing in. However, in both situations, it doesn't make any odds. 
because you can't operate the screen mechanism if it's clipped on the back. And if it's turned around, obviously you can't see the screen anyway. So um, unless you're desperate to see the notifications or of course you leave the screen open, um, that's not going to be helping too many people. Also, while we're just having a look at accessories, Shark Eye make a case for 3G, 3GS as well. It works in exactly the same way. There's three different sections. Um, of the case and the screen mechanism is exactly the same sliding as this one and this shows a yellow colour which is also available um, for the iPhone 4. This design is actually even a little bit better, it's nicely rounded, the curved back is nicer but obviously you can't have everything with the, with the uh, block like iPhone 4. So that's a couple of extras to go with the Shark Eye iPhone case. And that has been a review of the Shark Eye case for the iPhone 4. It's been Andy for iPhoneFreak.com. Thanks for watching.